Welcome to a fresh perspective on Victor Hugo's masterpiece Les Miserables. Today we're talking about a man whose name is synonymous with the romantic literary movement, the renowned French novelist, Victor Hugo. Born in the late 18th century, Hugo's influence on French literature is immeasurable, and his impact continues to reverberate across the globe. Now let's turn to one of his most celebrated works, Les Miserables. Published in 1862, this novel has stood the test of time, captivating audiences with its potent blend of morality, justice, and the indomitable human spirit. Les Miserables is more than just a book, it's an exploration of the human condition, a commentary on societal norms, and a testament to the enduring power of hope and redemption. Its characters, its narrative, its themes, all contribute to its enduring popularity and its status as a literary classic. With this backdrop, prepare to delve into the world of Les Miserables. In Les Miserables, Hugo presents a complex narrative that intertwines the lives of its characters. Our protagonist, Jean Valjean, emerges from the shadows of his past as a released convict, carrying a heavy burden of a 19-year sentence for stealing a loaf of bread. Yet he's not a man to be easily broken. With a heart brimming with determination he embarks on a journey towards redemption. As the story unfolds we encounter Fantine, a woman of immense character who suffers the harshest blows of fate. Her tragic life intertwines with Valjean's when he becomes the guardian of her child Cosette, after Fantine's untimely demise. Cosette, a beacon of innocence and hope, becomes the driving force behind Valjean's transformation. In the midst of this tale we meet Marius, a fervent revolutionary and idealistic young man who falls for Cosette. Their love story adds a new dimension to the narrative, binding Valjean even more tightly to his path of righteousness. But in every tale of redemption, there's a relentless pursuer. Enter Inspector Javert, the embodiment of absolute justice, who is determined to bring Valjean to atone for his past. Javert's relentless pursuit of Valjean and his unwavering belief in the law serve as a stark contrast to Valjean's journey of transformation. As the narrative weaves through the streets of 19th century Paris, we witness these lives intersecting, colliding, and influencing one another. Valjean's struggle to outrun his past and his efforts to secure a future for Cosette paint a vivid picture of the human spirit's resilience. His journey from a hardened convict to a respected citizen is a testament to the power of redemption and the possibility of change. In the end, it's not just a story of an individual, but a portrayal of society, its ills, its prejudices, and its capacity for change and redemption. The plot of Les Miserables is a testament to the human spirit's resilience and the power of redemption. Now, let's explore the characters that bring Les Miserables to life. At the heart of Victor Hugo's epic narrative are its characters, each with their own unique journey, embodying the resilience, the struggle, the triumph, and the tragedy of the human spirit. This rich tapestry of characters is what gives the novel its enduring appeal. We begin with Jean Valjean, a man hardened by a life of hardship and injustice. Yet despite the brutality of his circumstances, Valjean undergoes a profound transformation, embodying the power of redemption and the capacity for change. His journey from a criminal to a compassionate benefactor is a testament to the indomitable human spirit that refuses to be defined by past mistakes. In stark contrast stands Inspector Javert, a man of the law, unwavering and resolute. His rigid adherence to rules and order is a reflection of a society that values law above mercy. Javert's pursuit of Valjean is not merely a manhunt but a symbolic clash of ideals. It's the struggle between unforgiving justice and the power of mercy. Then we have the young and innocent Cosette, a beacon of hope amid the despair. Her journey from an abused child to a loved and cherished daughter underlines the transformative power of love and kindness. Fantine, on the other hand, embodies the tragic plight of the disadvantaged. Her story is a stark reminder of the harsh realities faced by those at the bottom of the social ladder, a poignant commentary on social inequality that resonates even today. In these characters, we see resilience in the face of adversity, the pursuit of justice, the transformative power of love, and the harsh realities of social inequality. Each character, in their own way, represents a different facet of the human condition. They are mirrors held up to society, reflecting its strengths and its flaws, its virtues and its vices. Through these characters, Hugo paints a vivid picture of the human condition. At its core, Les Miserables is a social critique. Victor Hugo, in his monumental work, delves into the depths of societal issues of 19th century France. 
He paints a vivid picture of the social and political climate, exposing the flaws in the social and judicial systems. His critique is raw and unfiltered, as he explores the themes of poverty and injustice, and the struggle for redemption. Hugo's characters are not merely fictional entities but are reflections of the society that he lived in. They are the embodiments of the impoverished and the oppressed, those who bear the brunt of a system that is more focused on upholding the status quo than addressing the underlying issues. Delving into the intricacies of the French social system, Hugo sheds light on the stark inequalities that exist. The rich and the powerful thrive, while the poor are condemned to a life of hardship. The judicial system too comes under his critical eye. Having explored Les Miserables, it's time to share some personal thoughts. This novel in my opinion is a masterpiece, a grand tapestry woven by Victor Hugo with threads of compassion, redemption, and the indomitable human spirit. Its strengths lie in its vivid characters, its evocative descriptions and its profound exploration of societal issues. Yet it is not without its potential weaknesses. Some might find the narrative pace slow, the digressions lengthy, and the historical and political details overwhelming. But remember this is more than just a story. It is a mirror held up to society, a plea for understanding, a call to action. It requires patience and an open mind to fully appreciate its depth and breadth. What amazes me is the enduring relevance of Les Miserables. In an age where social disparity and injustice are still rampant, where redemption and second chances are often denied, this novel resonates with a poignant truth. It reminds us of our shared humanity, our potential for good and evil, and our collective responsibility to challenge the status quo. Its impact on literature cannot be overstated. Les Miserables has influenced countless authors and works, shaping the landscape of social realism and humanist literature. It has been adapted into plays, films, and musicals, reaching audiences far beyond its initial readership. But at its heart, Les Miserables is a testament to the power of hope, the resilience of the human spirit, and the transformative potential of love and compassion. It challenges us to look beyond the surface, to see the miserable ones not as outcasts or criminals but as fellow human beings deserving of dignity and respect. In conclusion Les Miserables is not just a novel, it is a call to action, a plea for empathy, a testament to the indomitable human spirit. With its timeless themes and memorable characters, Les Miserables remains a powerful piece of literature that continues to inspire and challenge us. Having shared my personal thoughts on Les Miserables, let's delve deeper into the characters that bring life to Victor Hugo's masterpiece. Each character is a testament to Hugo's ability to create complex, compelling personalities that leave a lasting impression on the reader. First we have Jean Valjean, the protagonist whose journey forms the backbone of the novel. His transformation from a hardened convict to a compassionate benefactor is nothing short of inspiring. His moral compass, shaped by his experiences and the kindness of Bishop Muriel, guides him through a life fraught with challenges and temptations. His struggle to stay on the path of righteousness, despite the odds, gives us a profound understanding of his character. Next is Inspector Javert, the relentless lawman who pursues Valjean throughout the novel. Javert's unwavering belief in the law and its absolute authority is a stark contrast to Valjean's flexible morality. His inability to accept that a criminal can change is a reflection of his rigid worldview, which ultimately leads to his downfall. Then we have Cosette, the innocent girl who transforms under Valjean's care. From a mistreated child, to a young woman experiencing the throes of first love, her journey is a beacon of hope amidst the misery. Her mother, Fantine, represents the tragic side of the story. A woman driven to desperation by poverty and societal judgment, Fantine's life is a searing critique of the harsh realities faced by the disadvantaged. These characters with their strengths and flaws, their hopes and fears, their victories and defeats, make Les Miserables a captivating read. They embody the novel's central themes, contributing to its enduring relevance and appeal. As we move through their stories we're reminded once again of the power of redemption, the resilience of the human spirit, and the transformative potential of love and compassion. Having navigated the intricate lives and compelling personalities of the characters, let's now appreciate the unique writing style of Victor Hugo, the mind behind the masterpiece. Hugo's writing style is characterized by detailed descriptions and vivid imagery that transport readers into the world of Les Miserables. Whether it's the sewers of Paris, the barricades during the Revolution, or the serene tranquility of a convent, Hugo's descriptions are so rich and immersive, you can almost smell the dampness of the sewers or hear the clamor of the Revolution. 
His use of symbolism and metaphors is equally noteworthy. They serve to accentuate the themes and emotions of the story, adding a layer of depth to the narrative. The silver candlesticks, for instance, symbolize redemption and spiritual enlightenment, while the sewers represent the underbelly of society, the grim reality that lies beneath the facade of civilization. Hugo's narrative structure also merits attention. He adopts a non-linear approach, interspersing the main narrative with historical digressions and philosophical discourses. This might seem daunting at first but it adds a richness to the narrative, providing context and depth to the characters and their actions. The pacing of the novel is deliberate, with moments of intense action tempered by periods of reflection and introspection. This balance keeps the reader engaged, ensuring that the story is not just a whirlwind of events, but a thoughtful exploration of themes and characters. In closing, Hugo's writing style with its detailed descriptions, symbolic metaphors and deliberate pacing is a significant factor in the enduring appeal of Les Miserables. It adds a layer of complexity to the narrative, making it not just a story, but an experience that stays with the reader long after the last page has been turned. Moving on from the intimate intricacies of Hugo's writing style, let's shift our focus to the broader impact of Les Miserables on popular culture. Les Miserables has transcended the confines of literature, leaving a significant mark on our collective consciousness. Its influence is evident in the numerous adaptations it has inspired across multiple forms of media. From the silent films of the early 20th century, to the award-winning musical that has captivated audiences worldwide, Les Miserables has proven its adaptability and enduring appeal. Each adaptation has brought its own interpretation, adding new dimensions to the story and characters. Yet, they all retain the heart of Hugo's original work, a testament to the strength and universality of the narrative. The novel's themes and characters have also permeated other works of literature and art. The struggle for freedom, the quest for redemption, the resilience of the human spirit, these timeless themes have resonated with creators and audiences alike, inspiring countless stories and characters. Moreover, Les Miserables continues to be relevant in contemporary society. Its critique of social injustice, its exploration of morality and compassion, its portrayal of the indomitable human spirit, these aspects continue to speak to us, prompting reflection and dialogue on issues that are as pertinent today as they were during Hugo's time. In conclusion, the impact of Les Miserables extends far beyond the pages of the novel. It has become a cultural phenomenon, its influence permeating our art, our discussions, and our perceptions. It is not just a story but a mirror that reflects our society, our struggles, and our hopes. It is a testament to the power of literature to inspire, provoke, and endure. As we conclude our deep dive into Les Miserables, it's clear that the novel's timeless appeal and enduring message are as compelling today as they were in the 19th century. The struggles of its characters, their quest for redemption, and the resilience of the human spirit continue to resonate with readers around the world. The novel's call to empathy, understanding and social change is just as profound and urgent now as it was during the tumultuous times of Victor Hugo. Les Miserables is not simply a narrative, it is a powerful commentary on the human condition, a plea for compassion, and a rallying cry for social justice. It challenges us to look beyond the surface, to understand the circumstances that shape people's lives, and to recognize the dignity and worth of every individual. It compels us to question our prejudices, to confront our apathy, and to take action against injustice. The legacy of Victor Hugo and Les Miserables is truly remarkable. The novel has transcended the boundaries of time and culture, touching the hearts and minds of millions. Its characters, themes, and narrative have become part of our cultural fabric, inspiring countless adaptations and interpretations, and sparking conversations and debates on social issues. Its influence is not confined to the realm of literature, it permeates our art, our discussions, and our perceptions. In conclusion, Les Miserables is more than just a novel. It's a testament to the human spirit and a call to action for all of us. It invites us to reflect on our own lives, our society, and our shared humanity. It challenges us to strive for a world that is more compassionate, more just, and more inclusive. As we close this chapter, let's carry the lessons of Les Miserables with us and let them inspire us to create a better future.